couldn't coach college basketball, and I figured what I'd better do is write letters to the very best in the business. So I wrote to Jerry Tarkanian at UNLV, Mike Krzyzewski at Duke, Gene Cady at Purdue, and Bobby Knight at Indiana. I started writing letters to those guys. To me, they were the Thomas Jefferson, the Lincoln, uh, the John Adams, the Ben Franklin of basketball. They were like the founding fathers of the game, the people I aspired to be like someday. I wanted to walk in their shoes and be a head coach, never knowing, obviously, when I started writing these letters that someday I would end up being the head coach at UCLA, the greatest basketball program in the country, where I worked every day under 11 national championship banners. But it all started by putting pen to paper, and that's going to be something I talk about today, the importance of the handwritten letter. Even with iPhone, and I have one right here in my pocket, and I use it daily, uh, obviously with email, uh, there's nothing wrong for people who've got MySpace. Uh, what's the other one? Friends. Uh, what's the other one? Facebook. Facebook. Uh, my wife, I think, has uh, Facebook now. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm pretty low tech. I, I, I just last year started to manage cooking a Swanson chicken pot pie or TV dinner in the microwave. That was pretty advanced for me. As you can imagine, with dyslexia and dysgraphia again, uh, really overwhelmed in this uh, information age with technology. But the iPhone, uh, even I've had some success working with. Um, but wrote letters to all these coaches, and I can't emphasize enough the importance of the handwritten letter. Oftentimes, or the handwritten note, it might be better served at the end of the recruiting process. Uh, but there's something still about receiving the old snail mail, the nice stamp, and, and opening it up. I have a letter opener, and I open all these letters from these great coaches that I admire and respect, and I've saved them all this day, and they're dear to my heart. I have every letter that I received from John Wooden over the years. Uh, someday, if I write a book, I'll have a whole a chapter just on letters. Uh, but don't forget, letters to your significant other as well. Just because you live with them or you've been married to them for 30, 40, 50 years, there's nothing like a nice card. It sounds corny, uh, but a, or a nice love letter. We tend to do that during the courtship or during the recruiting. But once we sign on with them for a marriage or they're part of our company, we forget about the power of a handwritten note. My second year at ESPN.